Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 6th of 2023, well, it is titled Edwin Hubble discovers the universe. So what do we see here? Well, we see an image taken a little over a hundred years ago, but 100 years ago today, it was labeled and you can see the date there in the middle of this old photographic plate of the Andromeda galaxy for the 6th of October of 1923. And there were a few markings on it. But the biggest thing is the VAR exclamation point in the upper right hand side. And that was the identification of stars within the Milky Way galaxy that were variable. Now, why was that such a big deal? Well, we have to remember that before this time, there was a great debate among astronomers as to whether things like this, like Andromeda, which was then called a spiral nebula, whether they were part of our own Milky Way, or if they were indeed island universes, other galaxies like our Milky Way much further away. And we really didn't know because we had no way to be able to accurately measure distances. So what was done here is observation of variable stars. How did that help? Well, when we learned that certain types of variable stars called Cepheid variables have a relationship between their variability. So how long it takes them to go from bright to faint and back to bright again, and their actual brightness. And that meaning not just how bright they appear in the sky, but what we would call their intrinsic luminosity, how much energy they actually put out. And that allows us to determine their actual brightness just by observing their variations. Now that's important because if we know the true brightness of a star, if we know how bright it actually is, and that's what we mean of that is how much energy it is actually putting out every single second, not just how bright it appears within our sky. How bright it appears in our sky depends on distance. So if we know those two, if we know how bright it appears in the sky, and how bright it truly is, then we can use those two to calculate the distance to that star and therefore the galaxy itself. So just a 100 years ago, the identification of these variable stars within Andromeda opened up our understanding of the universe and gave us a much better understanding that the universe was much larger than previously thought that it was not confined just to our Milky Way galaxy. But indeed, there were many other galaxies out beyond our Milky Way here starting with Andromeda relatively nearby but many, many other stars and galaxies that are much, much farther away. So that was our picture of the day for October 6th of 2023. It was titled Edwin Hubble discovers the universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be once and future stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.